Purple Bird Balloon, of course, is a story of a culture and why it's important to pass on our cultures to the next generation. Essentially, it's a play, stroke, musical, stroke, concert, stroke, multimedia event about uh, the life and times of the amazing Margaret Fay Shaw. Margaret Fay Shaw came from Pennsylvania and, then, and she was born in the early 1900s and ended up in Scotland by one way or another and became intrigued by the whole idea of the Gaelic culture and where did it come from and who were the people. So she spent uh, seven years uh, travelling in the Outer Hebrides, collecting songs, transcribing them faithfully, learning the language and living the life of a gael in the Western Isles. And so this little bird uh, is called Little Bird because that's, a way, that's how Margaret described herself. She described herself as a little bird blown off course from Pennsylvania and somehow ending up in the Western Isles. Well, the songs came from the collection of, of Margaret and John Lorne, her husband, um, over, over the last 60, 70 years. But really, for this, for this particular uh, production, um, Fiona Mackenzie, the singer, Fiona has, has uh, spent a lot of time going through the songs and picking ones that she felt would be good for the production. So then I, I came to a stage where she'd already got a great short list of, you know, maybe 30 songs. We have little songs, little dance songs. We have some beautiful, beautiful little lullabies. Um, Gaelic has a tradition of writing the most beautiful lullabies, which are meant for, for lulling a baby to sleep, but they're not about a baby. Quite often they're about in praise of their father or their grandfather or the local laird, uh, just saying you're going to grow up to be as big and as famous and as great a hunter as, as your father and your grandfather before you. There are some beautiful laments. Um, Gaelic, uh, when these songs were written, and I say written in the, in, the, in the loosest word because they weren't written down, they were recorded orally, um, this was their way of expressing grief. Um, people would sing and they would tell the story of their grief through a song. Um, so some beautiful, beautiful, heartfelt uh, laments, um, just full of emotion, which I, I hope comes across to an audience, even if they don't understand the Gaelic, you can feel the, the raw, raw emotion. The thing about Celtic music generally and Gaelic song is that um, it's a very short distance between the performance of the song, the song and, the, and the reaction for someone that has a, a bit of a soul really because it's full of soul, it's like the original soul music, it's Gaelic music. <laughs> What the play is essentially saying is that it's a, it's a handing on of, of song, it's a hang, handing on of culture. So we're looking ahead all the time and that's, and that, and that's in, in, in a musical sense as well. It's a huge privilege to be able to have the chance to take these songs back to the place where they're collected from. There will be people in the audience who might remember some of these songs from their childhood, maybe haven't heard them for, for many, many years. Some of the songs might be more familiar to the audience. Um, and that it will feel people, it will make everybody feel that they, they are part of that they are, they are part of this piece. In much the same way that Margaret Fay Shaw went on a, a journey from America to the fringes of the world in the Hebrides, that the audience could do that as well. And through the songs and through the images they'll see, they'll hopefully go on a fantastic journey. They might not know where they're going in the hour and a half that's happening, um, but that uh, but the that the, the the travelling of that journey is a special occasion for them. Mm -hmm.